Who would you like to see win the women's candidates? Humpy and Vaishali are playing from India, so I would uh, want one of them to win. Uh, who do you think has the higher chances of winning the women's candidates? It's really hard to say. It's a very generic answer, but it's really hard to say. Um, I think whoever starts well will have an advantage because it sets the momentum. So the first half will play a very important role and uh, maybe then it will be possible to make a better prediction. Uh, who do you think is the most creative um, chess player among the um, uh, women's candidates players? Creative, I don't know, but Vaishali for sure is um, very aggressive in general. So um, she can like you know create a lot of interesting games. Whereas uh, Humpy is more solid. Um, I think there's Langno also in the lineup. She is also known for some very uh, fierce chess. Is one way to put it. Okay, and now we'll switch to your candidates. Uh, who do you think will be the toughest opponent for you according to their style of play? I would say myself, <laughs> because if I'm in, in the right mindset, doing the right things, uh, I really uh, believe in myself. But at times, you know, you can um, lag a bit and uh, not do the right things and have an off day. So then it becomes hard. So I would say just myself. Um, who do you think is the most creative chess player among your candidates? I think Firuja, uh, for sure, is one of the players who always uh, creates a lot of chances over the board. Nepo used to be ha having a similar style. He also plays very fast. Yeah, I think these two come to my mind. Um, if for some reason now you had two wild cards in your hands and you could expand the lineup from eight to ten people, <laughs> Who would you pick and why? Who for the women's and who for the candidates? Um, in the men's, I would give it to Anish because poor guy was so close to qualifying and uh, he couldn't at the end. So that is one. The other one, wild card. Oh. That's a tough one. Probably Arjun uh, because he was also he had a great year. He did some tournaments. He was having some bad luck in Qatar Open, for example. So yeah, him. Okay, um, two more questions, uh, very fast ones. The first one is, uh, who do you think which two players will play the longest game? In the candidates? Yeah. It's definitely me. <laughs> I always end up playing at least one game which goes for like six hours or seven hours, especially in Grand Swiss also, I remember I was doing that. Uh, other one? Against, against who? So, you will play it against? That's hard to say. Um, the other one who could play a very long game, if David Howell was playing, it would have been an easy answer, but uh, apart from him, maybe Hikaru. Uh, he has a lot of energy and uh, he really sometimes can uh, push uh, very aggressively. Who do you think will play uh, the most decisive ones? Most decisive Yeah, ones? I mean, wins and loses, doesn't matter. I think Gukesh and Ali Reza generally are known for, you know, having lots of uh, decisive games, so I would pick them. And the most throws? Most draws. Oof. Maybe Taru. He's very solid. So, yeah. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> Thank you.